I request all the audience present over here to stand as the procession is coming. participants are requested to be seated in their respective chairs. Commencement of convocation. I request all of you to stand for national anthem. All of you, please be seated. The Vice Chancellor to seek the permission of Honorable Chancellor for commencement of convocation. Mr. Chancellor, 
Do I have the permission of the Chancellor to commence the convocation proceedings? Permitted. Thank you, sir. This convocation of the Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, has been called to confer degrees upon the candidates who, in the examinations held for the purpose, have been certified to be worthy of the same. I declare the convocation open. Welcome speech and presentation of the university report by Professor Nimma Venkatrao, Vice Chancellor of the University. Mr. Chancellor, let me be permitted to present the annual report. Second convocation, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam. His Excellency, Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, Sri Bishwabhushan Harichandan, Sri V. Vijay Sai Reddy, reputed chartered accountant and Chairman Parliamentary Standing Committee, today's Chief Guest, Dr. Adhimolab Suresh, Honorable Minister of Education, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Professor K. Hamchandra Reddy, Chairman APSI, are unable to present due to hectic official works. Respected elected people's representatives, former Vice Chancellors, esteemed members of the Executive Council, members of the faculty, supporting staff, donors, esteemed invitees, allied of the public, guests, graduating students and their parents, representatives of the print and electronic media, good morning and welcome to you all. At the outset, on this momentous occasion of the second convocation of this university, with a deep sense of gratitude on behalf of the graduates of this university and my own behalf, I express my sincere thanks to the Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh and the Chancellor of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Sri Bishwabhushan Harichandan, Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, Dr. Adhimolab Suresh, Honorable Minister of Education, Government of Andhra Pradesh, for having given me the opportunity as Vice Chancellor to serve this university located in my native district, Srikakulam. While taking this as an, as an opportunity to provide a report on the milestones in the journey of this university and the important events and developments that have taken place in the recent past, I wish to foreground the task in all modesty, but with a sense of pride, by mentioning Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University got NAC accreditation with B grade on 5th of October 2021 in the first year of my Vice Chancellorship. I would present a brief about the inception and the present status of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam. The government of Andhra Pradesh has established Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, along with five other new universities by GOMS number 89-26-6-2008 as per Act of, as per Act 29 of 2008 by the then Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Dr. Y. S. Rajshekar Redigaru. Upgrading the existing Andhra University, PG Center at Echerla as an autonomous new state university. The government has allocated 168.82 acres of land for the university campus. From its infancy, a few days ago, the university has scaled up to the present stage of providing quality higher education in 22 departments offering 43 programs in various disciplines, including computer science engineering, electronics and communication engineering, and mechanical engineering. Since the university is located in rural area, it is catering to the higher education needs of the rural students. More than 95% of the students of this university have rural background, 
and the medium of their study is Telugu up to graduation. The total enrollment of students in constant colleges of this university is 2,892. Over 90% of the students joining in this university hail from weaker sections. Women constitute more than 50%, not only in the university campus colleges, but also in the affiliated colleges. The university has three constant colleges, College of Arts, Commerce, Law and Education, College of Science, and College of Engineering. University has 120 affiliated colleges in its jurisdiction, out of which government degree colleges are 15. One aided college, one not for private colleges offering UG programs, PG programs, professional programs like law, education, and physical education. In this academic year 21-22, the government of Andhra Pradesh has sanctioned three degree colleges in Kunduru, Palasa, and Togram, and admissions are also made. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, believes in promoting quality, taking into consideration the objectives of the National Policy Education 2020. The university promotes four-year UG programs in all its affiliated colleges from the academic year 21-22. The university also evolved a policy for shifting from the medium of instruction from Telugu to English in all the programs being offered by the affiliated colleges in tandem with the policy of the state government. English is not a threat to Indian languages. It is a link language and international language. If we ignore English, we cannot cross the borders of the state, leave alone the borders of the country. Outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic I wish to inform that COVID-19 pandemic in the initial days disturbed the entire functioning of the university. Despite of this adversity and continuous lockdowns, the university ensured uninterrupted academic progress. This situation has made the university administration to shift classroom instruction from offline mode to online mode of teaching with the use of latest techno technologies. Also, I am delighted to say that the university has effectively completed the examinations, evaluation according to the schedules through offline mode and successfully completed the academic year during the pandemic. As a proactive measure towards implementing NEP 2020, the university proposed to introduce one year certificate course for Anganwadi instructors working in AP to provide inputs on pedagogy and content to teach better at free school level. It is also proposed to start a beard program through ODL mode to train the junior lecturers working in government and aided colleges in tune with the new pattern of school education. Four-year programs are to be started with multiple entries and multiple exits on the lines of NEP 2020. Milestones and major achievements in its journey. Ambedkar University secured an year of ranking in 2017 between 150 and 200 slab. AP Inter-University Cup on Kabaddi Women Tournament was conducted at VR Ambedkar University, Srigakulam on 24th August 2019. The UGC granted 12B status to Dr. VR Ambedkar University in 2019. The university has been ranked fourth among the cleanest higher education institutions in the country in the category of government residential universities in 2019. Conducted the 5th AP Science Congress in collaboration with the AP Academy of Sciences in the university campus in November 2019. His Excellency, Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Bishwabhushan Harichandan, inaugurated the prestigious event in the campus. The university has received Unnath Bharat Abhiyan Perennial Award in, on 15th August 2020. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University is recognized as a district green champion for Sagawakulam district for the academic year 2021 by MDNCRE, Ministry of Education, Government of India. Arbindo Pharma Foundation sanctioned rupees two crores under CSR grants and constructed ultra-modern kitchen with 2,000 dining hall capacity for hostel inmates in the year 2021. Introduced daily over university program to address the grievances of the students on the first Saturday of every month since 6th March 2021, first of its kind in Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam. University got accredited with B grade by NAC on 5th October 2021. Students qualified for various state and national level examinations like SET, NET, GRE, and TOEFL under 
online placement, 86 engineering graduates got placements in M MNCs, multinational companies, at a range of 3.5 to 6 lakhs per annum. Provided infrastructural and instructional facilities like labs, equipment, Wi-Fi connectivity, land, digitalization of library, library subscription of e-journals and furniture, construction of hostel for boys, G plus two floors to accommodate 200 students on their progress. Administrative building G plus four floors is under construction to, to set up centralized administrative office to cater the needs of stakeholders of the university. I am happy to inform that the NSSL organized blood camps, Swachh Bharat, Swachh Andhra, Swachh Campus, and many other programs. The academic departments are every Saturday actively involved in the actions and activities along with the students and faculty under community outreach activity. As a part of that, conducted awareness programs on consumer rights protection, health and education of children of slum dwellers, girl education, women rights, traffic awareness, pesticide usage and its quality analysis, dissemination of health information to rural people, disability, infant mortality and maternal mortality, socio-economic status of farmers for the societal development as a part of the academic program. The central library in the university was computerized. E-journals, e-books, e-resources are made available to the students. The library procured 32,203 books, 1,500 reference books and 55 print journals. The university health center provides medical assistance to the students, teaching staff and supporting staff. As a part of its ongoing efforts towards establish, establishing useful international collaborations, the university has signed several MOUs. To introduce skill development program in collaboration with APSSDC, to elevate existing department of education as a school of education, to construct residential accommodation to the vice chancellor in the campus, to construct two more floors on the existing hostel building to cater the future needs of the community, student community, to introduce new courses like business analytics for management, civil and electrical courses for engineering, to institute the gold medals and endowment lectures with support of donors. These are the strategic plan for the next coming two years. Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University works on the lines of preparing our students as entrepreneurs, rather job creators, but not job seekers. The university intends to prepare its students as planners, but not paper pushers. Accordingly, the university is engaged in molding students as real thinkers, but not routine followers. Further, it is bent upon shaping the students as inventors, but not imitators. As an extension of the above vision, new courses will be designed keeping new of the projects sanctioned by the government of Andhra Pradesh, like Bhavanapadu port at Naupada, International Airport at Bhagapuru, and the new shipping harbor at Bodhagotlavanipalam, HRL Mandal, with an investment of thousands of crores of rupees to prepare the skilled personnel to meet the requirements of the said industries. Design the offering of the following employment-oriented programs in partnership with the industries. MSc Chemical Technology, a tie-up program between Dr. BRAU and NACL Limited. MSc Chemistry Postgraduate Internship Program, a tie-up between Dr. BRAU and Arvindo Pharma Limited. PG Diplomas, a tie-up between Dr. BRAU and Krishnapatnam Society Security Services Limited. PG Programs, Post Operations and Terminal Management, Fire and Industrial Safety, health and industrial safety, research and development activities. The publication of research work includes 237 research papers and 91 books during the period under report, while 263 number of papers have been presented at national and international assemblies. Research projects with a total outlay of over 49.76 lakhs have been acquired from funding agencies such as CSIR, MOE, MGNCRE, etc. Consultancy works with 507 lakhs have been completed. Providing financial assistance to the faculty for undertaking research projects and attending research programs, seminars, conferences, workshops, and academic and industrial visits by providing budget provision. 
for research promotions faculty of the affiliated colleges with PhD degrees working in the government degree colleges are given research guideship. Accordingly, a research center provision was given to government degree college men, Srikakulam and government degree college women, Srikakulam. Financial requirements of Dr. B.R. A.U. Construction of university buildings, administrative building G plus 4 and construction of 250 capacity of new boys hostel G plus 2 at a total cost of 53 crores has been undertaken. Construction works are going on through CPWD, Government of India duly meeting the expenditure internally to avoid delay in completion and increase in the construction cost. Construction of two floors on existing building of girls hostel in the university campus with the estimated cost of rupees 14 crores. Construction of first and second floor on the existing building of ultra modern kitchen in the university campus with the estimated cost of 3.5 crores. Construction of compound wall, construction of five sensors residential accommodation with estimated cost of 1.28 crores, installation of main entrance gate with an estimated cost of 15 lakhs or the, the future plans of the university. Shortage of human resources. Running the university with two professors and five assistant professors, a total of teaching, seven teaching and seven non-teaching regular staff. Administrative positions like finance officer, administrative officer, controller of examinations, deputy register, assistant register, PS to VC, superintendent, estate officer, university engineer, accountant, and some supporting staff remained unfilled. Despite of several constraints, such as shortage of regular teaching faculty, lack of administrative staff, and infrastructure, we have not compromised in delivery mechanisms for providing services to the stakeholders and the quality instruction to the learners. As per the state government instructions, new scales were implemented to regular non-teaching employees. The university enhanced remuneration for the contract teachers working in the academic departments to the maximum extent, keeping in view of the financial position of the university. For the benefit of non-teaching staff of the different categories, daily wages, employees, outsourcing, time scale, etc., a three-man committee was constituted under the chairmanship of Professor P. Vijay Prakash, member AP Higher Education Regulatory and Monitoring Commission to examine case by case and to submit the recommendations in accordance with the rules for implementation. Concluding remarks, education does not merely mean the acquisition of knowledge and experiences, but it means the development of all-round personality. University is a miniature of society. What all the knowledge and experiences that you have gained during the course of study, certainly it will help you to face the challenges and lead a meaningful life in the society. I would conclude with popular and thoughtful words of John F. Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Jai Hind. Administering the oath by the Vice Chancellor. The, the candidates for the degrees will now stand forward. I will ask some questions. You have to respond. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and declare that if admitted to the degrees for which you are severally candidates and for which you have been recommended, you will in your daily life and conversation conduct yourselves as becoming members of the university. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise that to the utmost of your opportunity and ability, you will support and promote the objectives of this university? 
do you solemnly and sincerely promise that you will, as far as in you lies, uphold and advance social justice, national integration, and well-being of our country and fellow men? Please resume your seats. Award of Degrees and Gold Medals by Vice Chancellor. Presentation of Best Researcher Award by Shri K. Kumar Raja. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to present to you the candidates for the Award of Best Researcher. Professor B. Adaya, Department of Economics, College of Arts, Commerce, Law and Education. Professor B. Adai, Department of Economics, College of Arts, Commerce, Law and Education. Professor P. Sujata, Department of Biotechnology, College of Science. Professor P. Sujata, Department of Biotechnology, College of Science. Presentation of Best Thesis Award. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to present to you the candidate for the award of Professor K. V. Ramana Gold Medal for Best Thesis, Dr. M. Anuradha, Department of Social Work. Presentation of Sponsored Gold Medal for Toppers in Postgraduate Degrees. Presentation of Sponsored Gold Medals for Toppers in Postgraduate Degrees by Professor V. Vijay Kumar. Let the recipient of the gold medals be now presented. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to present to you the candidates for the award of sponsored gold medals for toppers in postgraduate and graduate programs. Dr. K. Kumar Raja Sons Sri Teja Gold Medal for the academic year 2018-19 is awarded to Uppada Manisha having completed MBA with highest CGPA. Sri Gunta Surya Narayana Memorial Gold Medal Award for the academic year 2018-19 is awarded to Sangaru Mukundar Rao having completed MCOM with highest CGPA. Dr. P. Kalavati and Dr. P. V. Ramnamurthy gold medal for the academic year 2018-19 is awarded to Gandepalli Sai Divya having completed MSc Biotechnology with highest CGPA.
శ్రీ ఉప్పులేటి ప్రసాదరావు అండ్ పుష్పరాగం గోల్డ్ మెడల్ ఫర్ ది అకాడమిక్ ఇయర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ ఈజ్ అవార్డెడ్ టు చాప లక్ష్మి హ్యావింగ్ కంప్లీటెడ్ ఎంఏ సోషల్ వర్క్ విత్ హైయెస్ట్ సిజిపిఏ Professor G. Hanumant Rao, Memorial Gold Medal for the academic year 2018-19 is awarded to Gamini Lakshman Kumar having completed MBA Economics with highest CGPA. sponsored gold medal for toppers in undergraduate degrees Srimati Rokkam Chandrani Memorial Gold Medal for girl student topper for the academic year 2018-19 is awarded to Suru Hemalata having completed BA degree in economics with highest CGPA Thank you, sir. Convocation address by the Honorable Chancellor and Honorable Governor of Andhra Pradesh. Professor Nima Venkat Rao, Vice Chancellor, members of the Executive Council, members of the faculty, administrative staff, donors, guests, students, and their proud parents, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, my warm greetings to you all. It gives me much pleasure to be part of the second convocation of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Chicago, in the capacity of Chancellor of this esteemed institution. On this momentous occasion, I congratulate all the students who are receiving their degrees today, as who mark this important moment with friends, family, and all those who help to reach your goal. I sincerely hope that after the achievement of your academic goal, your hard-earned knowledge enables you to lead your life in the best possible manner and help the people around you in the society. As you all are aware, the government of Andhra Pradesh has been giving top priority to quality in higher education. Higher education needs to prepare graduates with the new skills, broad-based knowledge, and a wide range of competencies to enter into more complex and interdependent world. Systems of accountability and accreditation with a robust regulatory mechanism are essential for sustaining and improving quality in higher education. Excellence will flow from good quality educational institutions with appropriate governance structures. Higher education in Andhra Pradesh has experienced an unprecedented growth accompanied by diversification of the education sector. Education is meant to inculcate the right values 
among students to produce socially conscious citizens. Value-oriented education is the need of the hour for the promotion of human development and harmony in the society. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University has been pursuing a holistic approach to infuse professional competency and to inculcate the right kind of values among the students. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected all works of society, including education. Educational institutions and to quickly adapt to the situation with a shift from classroom learning to online learning mode with the adoption of online platforms and digital technology as an alternative system of teaching and learning process. The principles of equitable and inclusive education, universal access of education, reforms in curricular and pedagogical structure are at the heart of the National Education Policy 2020. The purpose of National Education Policy 2020 is to bring out a framework to guide the development of education in the country, and it aims to increase the gross enrollment ratio in higher education to 50% by 2035. The National Education Policy 2020 outlines major structural change in the education system with an aim to make India a global knowledge superpower by ensuring equity and inclusion. I am happy to learn that Dr. Ambedkar University originated in 1977 as a postgraduate center of Andhra University at Acheria in Sikakulam district, spread over 49 acres of land and was subsequently upgraded as a full-fledged state university with allocation of 168 acres of land by then by the then Chief Minister C. Y. S. Rajasekhar Reddy. The university was established primarily to promote higher education among the downturn people and the people of the backward district, Shikakulam. Having started with two departments, economic and rural development, in the academic year 1978-79, the university has grown and evolved into a major university with 22 departments and having 104 affiliated colleges under its jurisdiction. I am glad to know that in tune with the National Education Policy 2020, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University has proposed to introduce four-year degree programs with multiple entry and exit options. The university has further proposed to introduce BD programs through open distance learning mode to train the junior lecturers working in government and aided colleges. It is also proposed to introduce certificate course for Anganwadi instructors to provide pedagogical inputs for effective teaching. It is heartening to note that the University Grants Commission has granted 12B status to the university in 2019 and has been ranked at the fourth among the cleanest higher education institutions in the country in the category of government residential universities in 2019. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University has been recognized as a district green 
champion for the year 2021 by Mahatma Gandhi National Council of Rural Education, Minister of Education, Government of India. The university got accredited with B grade by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council. I am pleased to know that Dr. V. R. Ambedkar University, Srikakulam, has conducted class work for the students through online mode during the COVID-19 pandemic. Even though it is located in a rural area, I appreciate the efforts of the university for conducting uninterrupted classes in virtual mode and for completing the academic year for the students pursuing various programs. The university has sustained its research and development activity by adopting the latest digital technologies. New courses have been designed to train and provide skilled personnel to meet the requirements of the mega and prestigious development and industrial projects, namely the Bhavana Padu Port at Nayapada International Airport, Bhogapuram and New Shipping Harbor in Isheria Mandal of Srikakulam district. Accordingly, in partnership with reputed industries like the Arabinda Pharma Limited, Nagarjun Agricultural Agrochemicals Limited, and Kishan Patna Securities Limited, the university has designed several employment oriented and skill development programs like. MSc Chemical Technology by tie-up with Nagarjun Agrochemical Limited, MSc Post-Graduation Internship by tie-up with Aurobindo Pharma Limited and PG Diploma in Port Operation and Terminal Management. Fire and Industry Safety and environmental health and industrial safety by tie-up with Kishan Patam Security Service Limited. Further, it is heartening to note that in the online placement programs, 86 outgoing engineers, graduates of the university have secured jobs in several multinational companies. To overcome the disadvantageous position of being located in a rural and backward area, the university has adopted the student-centric policy through dialogue university program on the first Saturday of every month. Understandably, this program helps the students from far away places to bring their problems directly to the notice of the vice chancellor over phone and get them resolved. The university, through its sustained efforts, got an Alta Modern Kitchen constructed with the support of Aurobindo Pharma Limited under corporate social responsibility to meet the food requirement of the hostel inmates in the campus. In view of the challenging circumstances, like being located in a remote place in a backward district and to cater to the needs of the students of the disadvantaged groups, the university definitely needs continuous support from industries and corporate sectors, philanthropic organizations and the government. Dear students, I hope and trust that what you have learned at uh, Dr. Ambedkar University, Chikakulam, will come to meet the challenges that lie ahead of you. 
I congratulate the students who are receiving medals for their excellent performance and all the students who are receiving their graduate, postgraduate and doctoral degrees today. Before concluding, I would like to recall the words of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, who said, it is the education which is the right weapon to cut the social slavery, and it is the education which will enlighten the downtrodden masses to come, come up and gain social status, economic betterment, and political freedom. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Now, presentation of memento and the felicitation of the Honorable Governor and Chancellor of this University by the representatives of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University at Raj Bhavan. Vote of thanks by Professor C. H. A. Rajendra Prasad, Register of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Shrikakulam. On the culmination of this academically ceremonial and joyous occasion of second convocation of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Shrikakulam, I propose vote of thanks on my behalf and on behalf of the entire fraternity of the Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, Sri Kakulam. The foremost gratitude of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University goes to His Excellency, Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of the University, Sri Biswabhushan Harichandan Ji, for their kind consent to hold the second convocation of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar University, which is accompanied by encouragement and motivation for successfully organizing the August event in the annals of the history of this university. I would be failing in my duty if I don't acknowledge the help and support that we have received from the staff, starting from special CS to governor, sir, to many other staff of the Rajabhavan. The holding of the convocation has become a reality with the blessings of none other than honorable, uh, honorable and beloved Chief Minister of, of Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Rajshekar Reddy, sir whose inspiring attitude towards Dr. Ambedkar University has been helpful for it in continuing its march towards expansion and progress. I would put on record our gratitude for the respected uh, Vijay Sayaradi sir, who was kind enough to have consented to receive the honorary doctorate, honoris causa, on this day, but could not make it to that because of his high and unexpected preoccupations. Sir, we miss you but remember you for all your encouragement. The university is heartened to gratefully acknowledge the cons consent to participate in the convocation, who in fact made all the efforts and reached Visakhapatnam yesterday, that is 8-3-2022, uh, our education minister, Sri Adhimul Suresh sir, but had to return to the capital due to very pressing and emergency task to attend to. Sir, we remain grateful to you. In a similar vein, 
the university gratefully and fondly acknowledges the consent and support that has been received from the high offices like Principal Secretary Shamal Rosar, IAS, and Professor K. Hamchandra Reddy, Chairman Apshe, and uh, Pola Baskar, IAS, for successfully organizing the second convocation. Now I would uh, uh, move to our Vice Chancellor's uh, contribution to this program. Sir, Professor Nima Venkatrao, to whose credit the whole event goes in a way. He is the source of unmitigated support and encouragement for successfully organizing this great event of the university against last minute changes and surprises. The EC members, faculty, supporting staff, students, and research scholars remain beholden to him as an inspiration for our present and future activities. I would take this opportunity to thank all the donors of various merit certificates, medals. In the same breath, I would also thank all our academic and industry partners whose names I am not able to mention here for want of time. Though our EC members are part of organizing committee of this university, I would acknowledge all of them for their constant standing by us, particularly Dr. Kumar Raja, Professor Vijay Kumar, Dr. P. Sureka, Srimati Danet Padmija, and Dr. Rajesh, and, uh, and our internal EC members, Professor B. Adai and Professor B. Sujata. It is my pleasure to, all the, to thank all the dignitaries and former Vice Chancellors, uh, Vice Chancellors and the elite of the town and the members of the media and the, and the invitees and student and research scholars of the university who have graced the occasion. Last but not least of importance to mention is that this occasion could not have taken, taken the execution stage but for the relentless and strenuous efforts and hard work done by the examination section, administrative unit and with, with the support and guidance received from all other sections and, and personnel, including engineering. Th I, I extend my thanks to all of them on behalf of the university. Thank you, one and all. Award of, award of research degree, other degrees, and diplomas in the Faculty of Commerce, Management, Languages, Law, Social Sciences, and Education. Award of Research Degree in the Faculty of Commerce, Management, Languages, Law, Social Sciences, and Education by Dr. P. Sureka. Let the recipient of the degrees be now presented. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to present you the candidates for the Award of Research Degrees. Dr. M. Anuradha. Dr. Kavya Josna Upuleti. Dr. Kadamandla Narsai. Dr. Mohan Babu Chappa. Dr. Kota Muralidhar.
డాక్టర్ పి సుగుణాకర్ రావు డాక్టర్ శుంకర దేవదాస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ మేడం అవార్డ్ ఆఫ్ రీసెర్చ్ డిగ్రీస్ other degrees and diplomas in the faculties of life sciences mathematical sciences physical sciences and chemical sciences let the recipient of the postgraduate degrees and other degrees be now presented mr chancellor permit me to present to you the candidates for the award of postgraduate degrees and other degrees msc tech geology kalaga chennamudu 2015 year రెడ్డి తవిట్నాయుడు ఎంఎస్సి టెక్ జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ అరసవల్లి రేవతి లక్ష్మి ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ కుప్పిలి సాయి భాగ్యశ్రీ ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ దారపురెడ్డి హరిత ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ఆనిమిరెడ్డి రమేష్ ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ బట్టన లీలారాణి ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ హనుమంతు రాజశేఖర్ ఎంఎస్సి జియో ఫిజిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ గౌతమ్ కనక నాగరాజు ఎంఎస్సి టెక్ జియాలజీ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ గురుగుబల్లి రాజశేఖర్ ఎంఏ తెలుగు టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ P. 
పీడాక భాగ్యలక్ష్మి ఎంఏ తెలుగు టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ పీడాక భాగ్యలక్ష్మి ఎంఏ తెలుగు టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ మాతూరు జగదీష్ కుమార్ ఎంఏ ఎకనామిక్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ అల్లు మోహన్ కృష్ణ ఎంఏ సోషల్ వర్క్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఏలకల్ల మహేష్ ఎంఏ సోషల్ వర్క్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ ఏలకల్ల మహేష్ ఎంఏ సోషల్ వర్క్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ పుత్రేవు హిమలక్ష్మి ఎంకామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ పొట్నూరు వంశీకృష్ణ ఎంకామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ బలివాడ మల్లేశ్వరరావు ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ బలివాడ మల్లేశ్వరరావు టూ ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ సుంకర నాగలక్ష్మి ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ పుక్కల అరుణ ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ పుక్కల అరుణ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ఎల్ఎల్ఎం ఎల్ఎన్ఎస్ కుమార్ మిరియాల ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీన్ ఎల్ఎన్ఎస్ కుమార్ మిరియాల ఎల్ఎల్ఎం టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ కొండపూడి సునీల్ బాబు ఎల్ఎల్బి త్రీ ఇయర్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ కొండపూడి సునీల్ బాబు ఎల్ఎల్ఎం ఎల్ఎల్బి టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఆకుల శ్రీనివాసరావు ఎల్ఎల్బి త్రీ ఇయర్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఆకుల శ్రీనివాసరావు ఎల్ఎల్బి టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ ఇప్పిలి చంద్రశేఖరరావు పీజీ డిప్లొమా ఇన్ జర్నలిజం అండ్ మాస్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ మంద శ్రీధర్ పీజీ డిప్లొమా ఇన్ యోగా టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ Award of University Gold Medals for Toppers in Degree Programs by Srimati D. Padmaji. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to give permission to you, the candidate for the Award of University UZ Programs. Aavu Dutala Nagamani, 2016 BA. ఆవుదూతల నాగమణి టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ బిఏ శ్రీదేవి కిరణ్మయి టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ బిఎస్సి రాణి కుమారి సింగ్ బికామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్
లావేటి భార్గవ నాయుడు బిఏ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ భరాటం భార్గవి బిఎస్సి టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ భరాటం భార్గవి టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ బిఎస్సి గొల్లపల్లి ఇందిరా బీకామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ గొల్లపల్లి ఇందిరా టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ బీకామ్ దుంపలి కరిష్మా టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ బిఏ అడప సాయి సుధ బిఎస్సి టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ మాడభటుల కమల ప్రియ బీకామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ నౌపాడ హేమశ్రీ బిఏ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ పప్పల నాగేశ్వరీదేవి బిఎస్సి టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ పి దమయంతి బీకామ్ టూ థౌజండ్ నైన్టీన్ Thank you. Thank you, Madam. Award of Merit Certificates of PG Program by Prof. C.H.A. Rajendra Prasad, Registrar of the University. కోర్స్ వైజ్ యూనివర్సిటీ వైజ్ పీజీ టాపర్స్ ఎల్ఎల్బి త్రీ ఇయర్స్ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ అజయ్ కుమార్ బలగా టూ థౌజండ్ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ మల్లికార్జున రెడ్డి టూ థౌజండ్ సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ దుర్గా భవానీ టూ థౌజండ్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ రాజ మనోహర్ I request the Vice Chancellor, sir, to give away the merit certificates.
LLB five years. 2015-16 batch, Tota Maunika. Krishna Veni. Two thousand sixteen seventeen batch. Two thousand seventeen eighteen batch. Ramulu. Eighteen nineteen batch, Mani Manish. Manish. MA Economics, two thousand fifteen sixteen, Guju Swamiswarao. Sixteen seventeen Gorilla Swati seventeen eighteen Chandra Shekhar eighteen nineteen Lakshman Kumar M.A. English, T. Swati, two thousand fifteen sixteen batch, T. Jivita, sixteen seventeen batch, seventeen eighteen batch, Sravani. And 1819 batch, Kili Banu Prakash. MA Rural Development, 1516 batch, Kamere Disuresh. Sixteen seventeen batch Merugula Suresh seventeen eighteen batch Hamalata Murtamgari Hamalata eighteen nineteen batch Rokala Victor, MA Social Work Department, Sabavarapu Naidu, fifteen sixteen batch.
16, 17 batch, Savara Varam Teja. Seventeen, eighteen batch, Maradana Sisikala. Eighteen, nineteen batch, Chapa Lakshmi. MBA department. MCOM department, M MCOM department, 15-16 batch, Gummadi Suri Babu, Sixteen seventeen 17 Uppad Alavanya, 1718 Vinila Putnur Oh sorry All right so N yes Naka Mina corrected 1718 Naka Mina Eighteen nineteen Mukundarao MLIC Department fifteen sixteen Balarazu what Vatikula. 2015-16, Balarazu. Sixteen, seventeen, Srinu Gudivada. Seventeen eighteen Dada Prasant and eighteen nineteen Chintala Pudi Sudharani MA Telugu Department, 15-16, Sai Ram, Suvarna, Vidya Bhoshana Suvarna. 1718 K Srinivas Rao 1819 J Molika MCA department 15-16 batch, 
జడ్డు పావని సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ నెక్కంటి రాజా సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ కొమ్మిరెడ్డి స్వాతి ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ కేసిరెడ్డి అనూష MSc Biotechnology 1516 batch Satish Kumar 1617 Karuna Karuna Priya Kari 1718 batch Rajeshwari and 1819 batch సాయి దివ్య ఎంఎస్సి మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ నాగేంద్ర బాబు మేరీ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ బ్యాచ్ చింతపల్లి పావని ఈ సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ ఎస్ రోజాలక్ష్మి ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ బరాటం దివ్య ఎంఎస్సి ఆర్గానిక్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ రాజ్యలక్ష్మి పి సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ బ్యాచ్ కే ప్రియాంక సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ కిరణ్ మయి ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ జి దివ్య MSc Geophysics 1516 batch Animi Reddy Ramesh 1617 batch D Harita 1718 batch MSc Geology 
ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ బోగారపు సంతోష్ కుమార్ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ ఆమని మరపు ఆమని మార్పు సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ డి జాన్సీ ఎయిటీన్ నైంటీ టి సంధ్య ఎంఎస్సి ఎనలిటికల్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ ఎన్ మోహన్ రావు సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ బ్యాచ్ పి భాస్కర్ రావు సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ రమణ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ సాహు జాన్సీ ఎంఎస్సి ఫిజిక్స్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ మోసా శ్రీను సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ బ్యాచ్ కె రేణుక సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ లలితాదేవి ఎస్ ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ సుష్మిత జె ఎంఎడ్ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ డి దేముడు సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ ఊర్మిళ రౌతు ఎయిటీన్ నైన్టీన్ బ్యాచ్ రోణంకి వెంకటలక్ష్మి ఎంఎస్సి బోటని సెవెన్ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ లక్ష్మి జే సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ మౌనిక ఎంఎస్సి జువాలజీ సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ కిళ్ళి గాయత్రి సెవెంటీన్ ఎయిటీన్ బ్యాచ్ చిన్నారి ముద్దాడ
B.Ed. Special Education, MR. 17, 18 batch. Yes, Ramalakshmi. 18, 19. Kum Kumari D. And uh, now, Master of Journalism and Mass Communication. 18, 19 batch. Ipili Jogarao. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. M M MBA? Yeah. Sir, with your permission, uh, now uh, I have to go back and uh, call one candidate of MBA department. Name of the candidate. Names, all. Yes, yes. 1516, MBA department. M. Nalini. 1617, Lavanya. And 1718, Vinila, P. And 1819, Manisha. Manisha, U. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And now, admissions to the degrees in absentia. Mr. Chancellor, permit me to present the candidates whose names are herewith submitted and also those who have applied to receive their degrees in person but could not be present, now be admitted to their respective degrees in absentia. Thank By you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Dr. B.R. Ambedkar University, I admit in absentia the candidates listed for their respective degrees in this university including those who having applied to receive their degrees in person but could not be present now and in token thereof permit the registrar to present them with their degrees and authorize the degree holders to wear the robes ordinated as the insignia of their degrees thank you sir thank you very much and now the vice chancellor to sign the record of degrees Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Now, felicitation to the guests by our Honorable Vice Chancellor. First, I request Professor H. Lajpat Rai, deep. Please uh, come, sir, and uh, accept our uh, felicitation.
now mr k kumar raja garu professor b hadai professor p sujata Mr. Vijay Kumar Garu. Professor B. Adde. member ec ec uh, executive council member professor p sujata another ex member executive council Dr. P. Surekha, another executive council member. Srimati Padmaji, executive council member. Mr. P. Rajesh, Executive Council Member. <laughs> Professor C. H. A. Rajendra Prasad Garu. He is also registrar and uh, executive council member. Now I request all the EC members to felicitate our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Nimma Venkat Rao Garu. I request all of you.
I request all the EC members to have a photograph. Now I request our Vice Chancellor to dissolve the convocation. Can the Chief Guest, Vice Chancellors, the members of the Board of Management, Deans and Directors, the members Academic Council and Registrar shall stand. All of you please stand up. I dissolve this convocation. National anthem. Yes, Janagana Mana Dhinayaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkalavanga Vindya Himachala Yemuna Ganga Uchala Jaladita Ranga Tava Shuvana Me Jage Tava Shuvashisha Mage Gahe Tabajaya Gatha Janagana Mangala Dayaka Jaya He Bharata Bhagya Vidata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 Hey Jaya Hind Now all of you be, please stand in your own seats in your standing position only Vice Chancellor the member of the Executive Council the Deans, Directors the members of the Academic Council will descend from the dais and from themselves into a procession in the same order in which they entered the convocation hall, pass through the gangway and retire to the robing halls. The band will be played while the procession retreats. <laughs> 